I've discovered that social media addiction is actually a good thing for your grades. I was just as skeptical as you are now, but these findings changed my life and helped me graduate in the top 1% of my university. So in this video, I will reveal how this addiction kind of sharpens your focus and why this isn't common knowledge yet and the science behind using each platform's addictive pull to crave studying and ace your exams. But first, let's look at the secret chemical behind it all. This video is sponsored by Keeper Security. Hack your brain. So let's do a mini exercise. I want you to remember the last thing you posted or shared online. So was it a photo or a video or maybe even a story repost? Think of the platform and the exact moment you hit publish. Now think back to the excitement you felt waiting for those likes and comments to start pouring in. Remember that thrill when they did? Well, that's your body essentially giving you a high five in the form of a dopamine hit. So your brain is basically saying, Hey, that was awesome, let's do it again. But why does this happen? So Dr. Anna Lemp's book, Dopamine Nation, sheds some light on this. She explains how each social media notification is kind of like a mini dopamine dose making us crave more. And over time, a cycle of dependency develops similar to a substance addiction. So after learning this, I realized that if I made a few changes, I could hack my brain and get hooked on studying. And I could finally look forward to my studies and they wouldn't feel like a chore. In fact, all I had to do was restructure my study routine to add rewards before and after each session. So I started each study period by going to a quiet environment that I liked, and then I would order like a coffee or a healthy drink before sitting down to start studying. And then during my study breaks, I would go outside, enjoy the view, treat myself to some tasty brain food snacks like fruits or nuts or dark chocolate. And this routine, was very enjoyable and over time my brain associated tasks like reading a textbook, finishing practice exams or answering flashcards to indirectly receive dopamine. But it didn't stop there. I discovered a psychological technique that Instagram, TikTok, Reddit and other billion dollar platforms use to keep us hooked that we could apply to our study habits. The slot machine method. So I call it the slot machine method and it took my studying addiction to another level. You know, back in school, I was pretty much hooked on social media, scrolling endlessly, yet feeling guilty for wasting time. And no matter how much I tried, just using willpower to stop did not cut it. Then it hit me. Social media, isn't just addictive by chance, right? It's by design. Companies hire teams of behavioral scientists who are pros at creating addictive feedback loops, much like the ones used in casinos. And these experts figured out how to trap users in what's called a ludic loop. It's kind of like a cycle where you keep doing something in hopes of a random reward. Sounds familiar, right? So platforms like Facebook and Instagram shook up their news feeds. Gone were the days of chronological posts. Now, it's a never ending, unpredictable stream of content. And each refresh is like pulling a slot machine lever, hoping for that dopamine jackpot. And after learning this controversial method, a light bulb went off in my head. Why not use this for studying? If I could make my study breaks unpredictable and rewarding, maybe I would get hooked on studying too. And perhaps I would become consistent and finally be able to improve my grades and reach my full potential. But you're likely thinking, how did I do this? So here's what I did. I introduced a break activity generator to my study routine. After each study session, I'd have a random break activity. It could be anything from a quick walk, a tasty snack, to watching an episode of my favorite show. And this element of surprise turned my study sessions into a fun game. And now I was looking forward to studying just to see what reward I'd hit next. And by the way, I have launched a five-step high-performance study system course, but can actual studying ever feel as fun and effortless as using social media? The quick scroll syndrome. I think yes. In fact, I can't believe I'm saying this, but TikTok and short form content, the stuff we kind of mindlessly scroll through might just be the secret sauce to smarter studying. Remember how you'd lose track of time scrolling through YouTube shorts or any other bite-sized videos? They're addictive, right? Time just zooms by and you consume heaps of content without even realizing it. With the rise of short form, social media is now more about quick, easily digestible content and videos can become 
consumed rapidly in bursts and as a result are often consumed on the go and it's this kind of quick scroll syndrome that you can harness for your learning and here's what I suggest mix up your regular study session with kind of like short sharp micro sessions so these quick bursts of learning are perfect for those spare moments you have throughout the day now you'll be able to kind of learn more content without it feeling like a drag, but rather a short, intense sprint. So think about it. Learning something small, like three flashcards in 10 minutes, might not sound like much, but just like each quick video helps you to grasp a broader topic, these short study sprints gradually build up to a comprehensive understanding of your subject. And the best part is, this approach doesn't just make learning more efficient, it makes it more fun. It's like turning your study routine into a series of mini games. Which brings me to my next method that unlocks new levels of consistency by gamifying your study sessions. But first, the same ease with which we flick through our feeds should apply to protecting them. So that's where Keeper Security comes in. It's not just any password manager, it's the most secure, certified, tested and audited one out there. Probably why it boasts over 230,000 five-star reviews. I use Keeper Security across all my devices and with it, logging into any account is a breeze. No need to remember every password. Keeper Security does that for me and in just seconds. It's more than just passwords though, credit card info, IDs, and even any super important confidential notes that you just can't lose are locked up tight. Now, if you're the type to use one password everywhere, it's really time for a change. I learned that the hard way, but with Keeper's Breach Watch, you're alerted the moment your passwords hit the dark web, giving you the chance to act fast and stay secure. So while we're all about improving our study habits, let's keep our online life just as optimized and secure. So you can check out Keeper Security for yourself. Users can try it for free, or if you're ready to purchase, you can get 50% off with the promo code MikeD, link in the description below. Now let's get back to my next technique, which is Snapchat score. Funnily enough, this idea came from Snapchat, specifically Snap scores and Snap streaks. And these numbers rise with every message sent or message received, incentivizing users to engage more and more. So during my studies, many classmates were hooked, not just on sending snaps, but on watching their scores increase. And it was like a mini competition where every point added felt like a victory, right? But this isn't just for fun, it's a serious business. Did you know that around 80% of us learn better when things are gamified? Let me say that again, 80% of us learn better when things are gamified. And Snapchat's nailed this by playing into our natural desire for progress and achievement. But here's the real question. How can we translate this fun feature into a real world kind of learning situation. And this might surprise you, but when we bring gamification into education, students report a whopping 35% increase in performance. So they're more engaged, not because they have to, but because they want to. So how about we try this for studying? Imagine adding game elements to your routine, earning points for a completed quiz, leveling up after finishing a chapter, or maintaining a study streak. And suddenly, what seemed mundane now feels exciting. And the more you play this study game, earning those kind of points, the more you'll actually look forward to your study sessions, much like waiting for a new Snapchat message. But there's still one final element left to tie all of these points together and truly maximize your potential and get better grades. And that is the social multiplier effect. If you only study alone, you're doing it wrong. You're missing out on the key aspect that elevates all areas of your learning. And it's called the social multiplier effect. You see, we're built for connection, right? To share experiences and kind of grow together. In the digital world, this instinct kind of keeps us endlessly scrolling, seeking interaction online. And this is why social media is such an addictive tool as it taps into our desire for connection. So what if you channeled that need for connection into your studies, right? So picture a group where you and fellow students exchange notes and tackle challenges together. And this collaboration naturally spurs growth. When I started posting motivational videos on YouTube like 2016, I formed a community and these fellow students became my motivators and helped keep me accountable. And I'm super grateful to them because they showed me the social multiplier effect in action. And every quiz I aced or chapter I finished wasn't just a personal 
personal win, it was a, a group celebration. It's like your achievements get this kind of mega boost from your peers. And as a result, showing up for study sessions and pushing myself became way more enjoyable. It's kind of like studying became somewhat of a team sport. So through using online and in-person study groups and the other four techniques, I was able to leverage social media to become addicted to studying, level up my grades and completely change my life. I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't graduate with the grades that I did. If you like this video, you're gonna love a video I made recently called How I Graduated University in the Top 1%. You can click on the card on the screen to watch that, comment your thoughts below and check out this video's sponsor, Keeper Security. Users can try it for free or if you're ready to purchase, you can get 50% off with the promo code my D, link in the description below.